Ladies and gentlemen, I must apologize to all of you, especially those of you who've been going through foreclosure and I've sent you to bankruptcy court. It's been a long time. I, not your bankruptcy person. I hadn't dealt with bankruptcy or the rules of bankruptcy in probably 15 years. But here's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. You're not supposed to be filing bankruptcy in bankruptcy court. Stop filing your bankruptcies in bankruptcy court. File them directly in a district court. When you file them in a district court, the automatic stay still follows. There is no appointment of no stupid trustee. You are the debtor in charge. You don't have to follow it as a chapter 11, a chapter 7, or a chapter 18. That's your choice. You, by filing it in district court, can demand a trial by jury. See, that's the problem. There are no rules for this because people don't do it. But guess what? You know what you didn't know? Something I knew, and I forgot about it until it was just mentioned to me. I checked this stuff way back in 1997 when doing my own research. 1997, that's how long ago I looked this stuff up. And I forgot about it. It's so simple. Let me show you how simple it is. Let me, let me, I'm going to let Chad GPT, because he was giving me a problem. Bankruptcy cases began in the jurisdiction of the federal district courts, which have original jurisdiction over all bankruptcy matters. That's why you get to file in stupid district court. They're the ones who have the original jurisdiction, not the stupid bankruptcy court. It's the district court who refers cases to the bankruptcy court. Go ahead. Go ahead and see if the bankruptcy, wait, no. Don't go ahead. Let me show you where the bankruptcy court is located. This the bankruptcy court for the District of California, and it's under the district court. The district court refers you to bankruptcy court every single time. They'll even tell you, you got to file that in bankruptcy court. No, you don't. Now, pay attention. I want you to understand this bankruptcy junk so that you don't get misled. Sorry, because I knew this. Since 1997, I have somebody going into bankruptcy and he's already filed the complaint in district court because he knew, well, I knew, he didn't know that the courts were going to tell him, no, he couldn't do it. So now I'm explaining that he can. Okay. Oh, I'm a dog with, man, I'm a dog with a bone. You ain't going to sit up here and mess with me and think I'm not going to sit up here and keep going. And I told y'all till I get to the white meat. The bankruptcy is a set of federal laws and rules. This is their court saying this, that can help individuals and businesses who owe a debt that they can pay each other, blah, 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 blah. Bankruptcy laws are also there to protect businesses. Okay, thank you. Businesses go to bankruptcy court. Businesses go to bankruptcy court. But hold on now. Unless they're dealing with their private rights. Swift voters, swift voters. Swift voters, swift voters, they have constitutional rights, so they get to go to district court too. Some bankruptcy cases are filed to allow the debtor to reorganize. Bankruptcy cases normally begin when the debtor files a petition with the bankruptcy court, normally. Okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, what you need to understand about the bankruptcy court and how things are filed in the bankruptcy court, and how the district court has original jurisdiction, let me see if I can explain it to you. It is bankruptcy cases are filed in the bankruptcy court. Bankruptcy cases cannot be filed in state court. Pay, pay attention. Bankruptcy law helps people that can no longer pay a creditor get a fresh start by liquidating their assets. You don't have to liquidate your assets, y'all. Now, pay attention. Bankruptcy cases are filed in bankruptcy court. Wait a minute. They are? They are? Yeah, but they're also filed in the district court because that's where the original jurisdiction. Let me show you the original jurisdiction. Let's go to my chat GPT, you know, my trusted chat GPT. Let's let chat GPT tell you. Thank you for the clarification. You are correct that the district court has original jurisdiction over bankruptcy cases and the authority to discharge eligible debts and to provide the debtor with a fresh start 
as it operates under the same provisional rules as the bankruptcy court. Here are the key points. The district court has original jurisdiction. Let's click on it and see what we get. Lord, have mercy. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the district court. This is not the bankruptcy court. Go ahead. I dare you to check. It's the district court. This is their website. It's just, this is the bankruptcy section. The clerk, a new clerk of the court appointed by the United States Bankruptcy Court for the Southern District of California. Nobody cares. I need you guys to understand that this is the district court. The bankruptcy court is not supposed to be because it's a legislative court, not supposed to be in the district court. Let's click on this number one right here. Give me a second. And then we're going to read to you guys what it says there, and then we're going to let y'all get on back back to day. Okay? Pay attention. United States Bankruptcy Court, Central District of California. Notice this. Bankruptcy filings. It's the same rules. They have to follow the same rules, people. It's the same rules. So when you file in district court, because that's the court of original jurisdiction. Let's go to number two. Hold on. And then I'm going to read it to you so you can see for yourselves. After following bankruptcy. Okay. Same rules. Nothing changes. Hold on. Now watch this. Oh, no. It's not this one. It's this one. I, I apologize. I took y'all to the wrong one. I'm supposed to take y'all here. I'm sorry. That was the second one where it was telling you didn't get the automatic stay. And then I had to let it know. That's a lie. It's the same rules. This is the Supreme Court in North Northern Pipeline Construction versus Marathon Pipeline construction. This is one of the cases that tell you that bankruptcy court cannot hear constitutional matters. That's that case. Bankruptcy cases began under the jurisdiction of the federal district courts who have original jurisdiction over all bankruptcy matters. So let's look at Title 28, Section 1343, because you know they're going to say something to you. You can't file that here. Uh-uh. You, no, you ain't going to, no, you ain't, no. Uh, oh. Really? It says that? Oh, oops. Uh, I'm not a judge, so I can't. Oh, I need to shut up and go give it to a judge? What, you're not going to listen to me no more? Mislead you? I can go shut the what up? Oh, no, you don't talk. I, anyway, you. Okay, pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go here because ChatGPT told us to go. Well, it's actually Poe, ChatGPT's Poe brother. Okay, bankruptcy cases and proceedings. <sighs> Except as provided in Section B of this section, the district court shall have original and exclusive jurisdiction in all cases under Title 11. Shh! Don't you dare tell nobody this stuff right here. Except as provided in E2, and notwithstanding any act of Congress that confers exclusive jurisdiction on a court or courts other than the district court, they cannot confer jurisdiction regarding non-core matters. That's Article 3 only. The district courts shall have original jurisdiction, but not exclusive jurisdiction, of all civil proceedings arising, arising under Title 11 or related to cases, blah, blah, blah. So, ladies and gentlemen, here you go. Uh-oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Let's go back here so I can get that. Because I need this section right here because I need to shut some I mean, people up. Whew. And look, it's been a long time. I, I've known this. I've read this before. I'm taking the whole thing. Uh-uh, I'm greedy. This is smorgasbord. Okay? So those of you, those of you who are in the process of losing your home, you're going to file bankruptcy in district court. Now, they're going to give you a hard time. Now, why are the district court going to give you a hard time? Because they don't want you coming to them. They don't want to handle bankruptcies. That's why they created the bankruptcy courts in 1978 in the first place. That's why they did it in the first place. Pay attention, people. Bankruptcy was not always a bankruptcy court. It was the district court originally. Oh, no, I can't do that. Y'all see what it did? It took away everything. It says, oh, no, you ain't keeping none of that. So we got to go forward one, forward one. Okay, see what it did? It, it sent me all the way down there. I don't want that. So we got to... Really? You going to do that type of formatting? Okay. Well, let me do this. Nope, that didn't help either. 
it ain't gonna let me do it. It's because of how I formatted it. So I gotta put it in a different section. Okay, because it ain't gonna let me do that because that's the problem. All right, so I can't do it that way, dude. I gotta put it underneath. And I can put it underneath because I got space to put it underneath like that. And then I just go over here and I go, do I do this one? Yeah, I can do this one. It's got the links. See, when you when you look at it, it's got the links. Whew. Because the clerks of the court are going to say something. And I want them to say something, y'all. I really do. I want them to say something. You see that red line? I want that red line because Cornell Law is the official source of United States code and other services. Uh, 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 you ain't doing it. I said I want the red line. Okay? Don't play with me. Hold on. Get back Get back down here. Get, get rid of that old. What you putting? What's up, old? Oh boy. Okay. Whew. Uh oh. Can't do that either. Let's do. Let's leave that there. I want the whole line. I need this. You see this right here? I ain't changing that font or nothing. I need this. And. Now you see how it says original and exclusive jurisdiction over all cases under Title 11? So why aren't y'all going to. <laughs> y'all do y'all. Gaining control of your securities under district court. Okay. Now, pay attention. They should have original but not exclusive jurisdiction in all civil proceedings arising under Title 11. Now, pay attention. Notice this. In all cases under Title 11. This one says in all civil proceedings arising under Title 11. Excuse me? But not exclusive jurisdiction? Yeah, because they can confer that jurisdiction back over to the bankruptcy court, which is what they've been doing to handle your property matters. Bankruptcy courts cannot handle private property, private rights, and or constitutional rights issues under any circumstances. Your property is constitutional. They don't have the right to handle that. But you guys, they've been doing it, haven't they? And they've been... They've been doing y'all some some bad, ain't they? Well, this is what you do. This is how you document. Okay. Now this is <laughs> this is his original petition. I'll finish it tomorrow. Uh, but this is the original petition, ladies and gentlemen, that he filed in court. He filed it as a lawsuit, but he's still going to do it as a lawsuit. But it's going to be a bankruptcy lawsuit. Okay, he's not going to do it as a regular bankruptcy filing, but it is entitled bankruptcy petition. But he's going to do it as a lawsuit because he's suing the trustees. Pay attention. The United States trustees, etc. all. That's exactly how it's titled. He's suing the administrative offices of the United States. Well, it's the administrative office of the United States courts, the AOU, etc. all. And he is suing the bankruptcy court, etc. all. Well, because once the courts violate your rights under the Civil Rights Act of 1866, and they did this gentleman, they violated his rights, told him he needed to file a fee waiver. Sorry, the bankruptcy court doesn't have that jurisdiction to take away his right to access the court by demanding that he files a fee waiver and not giving him an evidentiary hearing. But we're not going to talk about all that tonight. All right, I got to let you guys go. I wanted to give you this information. Go ahead and share it with everybody. Have them look up the code. Y'all saw the code. Follow the yellow brick code. Hold on. Let me get the code for y'all. Follow the yellow brick code. Follow the yellow brick code. It tells you right there, district courts shall have exclusive jurisdiction over all bankruptcy matters. If you're in bankruptcy, do a removal to federal district court. Oh, by the way, sorry. Every one of you who are in bankruptcy, you volunteered for the bankruptcy court by filing in that court in the first instance. You're supposed to know that the district court has original jurisdiction. Doesn't matter what the court cases say. You have the right to petition the government. Bankruptcy court is not government. Bankruptcy court is legislative. It's not a government court. You have the right to petition the government for redress agreements, not to petition the bankruptcy court. That's a volunteerism. You can be deprived of your rights if you voluntarily agree to be deprived of your rights. And that's what you do when you file in bankruptcy court. So start saving your property by filing in district court. Ta-da. All right. Have a good day, everybody.